My name is David Longstreet, and I'm going to talk about dead weight loss and taxes. My website, mybooksucks.com. And curve looks like that in the supply curve. The market quantity is right there, and the market price is right there. As a quick review, the consumer surplus is the area above the price line, and it's the area below the demand curve and it should be coming in right about now. It's a green area, actually that's Moss. Surplus is the area below the market price and above the supply curve. It's the area that is in orange, actually that's Tangerine. I talk extensively about consumer surplus and producer surplus in another video, so I won't cover it in a lot of detail here. Now imagine the government imposes a tax right there like that. And it's the same area to the right. We'll have a little line pop in right there. So the tax, the price plus the tax is there. And the quantity consumed now is at QT. Price sellers receive is right there. So the brown area, MOCA, tax is the tax revenue. So tax revenue is equal to tax times the quantity. And by tax, I mean the tax right there. And by quantity, I mean that quantity right there. Now, if I fade out tax revenue, the mocha box, what you see is everything kind of overlaps. When government imposes a tax, consumer surplus shrinks and producer surplus shrinks as well. The area that's clear now, the gray area as I shaded in, that's called dead weight loss. There's a dead weight loss for consumer surplus and a dead weight loss for producer surplus. Both producers and consumers lose with a tax. Again, consumer surplus shrinks and producer surplus shrinks.